Hello, everybody. I am virtually here with Bull Center Wendell Carter Jr. And Wendell, we are going to play 21 questions in the spirit of 50 Cent. Take us back to where you were the moment that you found out the NBA was suspended until further notice. Uh, we was actually in Orlando, and uh, it was the night before a game, and I was just watching, uh, it was the Jazz game, and uh, no one was coming out on the court, so I was kind of confused. And mm -hmm. then uh, it just ran across the bottom that uh, they started talking about how other games were starting to be canceled and stuff, and then I saw the league was shut down. And fans, due to unforeseen circumstances, the game tonight has been postponed. You are all safe. You know, we're on day 20-something of, of quarantine. How do you find yourself spending most of your days? Well, lately I've been trying to, like, kind of find new hobbies to do around the house. Uh, mm. I've started reading a little bit more. I mean, everybody pretty much knows about my, my Twitch channel and that I game and I stream and things like that. Oh, I knocked them. I'm cold. I'm cold. You used to live in the same apartment building as your parents, and now yeah. you still live pretty close to them. What has the social distancing been like for you when your family is so close yet so far? Mm -hmm. How have you been? I mean, I've, I've been able to go and see them just because they've been quarantining and mm -hmm. staying in the house. And, you know, I, I waited like 10 days before I went over there to see them and things mm -hmm. like that. So I've been, I've been able to see them, but the first couple of days of like, kind of strange. It was like, I couldn't really go over there just to protect her and protect myself. What one thing is that you have learned about one of your teammates or all of your teammates during this quarantine? That Chris Dunn is actually a serious gamer. <laughs> For real? Serious. Like, serious. Like, he's probably taking a little bit more serious than I do, which I would have never expected. But you take it seriously. You have a yeah. gaming yeah. theater in your house. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, but he's uh he's pretty serious on the gaming side. Who's better, you or him? Me. <laughs> <laughs> but nice try. Yes. Yeah. At least he's serious about it. Yes. Yeah. 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 What right. have you been doing to stay in shape? What are your workouts been like? Our uh, strength and conditioning coach for the Bulls sent us uh, like four different workouts, so I just mm -hmm. do one of them in the morning, and then uh, you know once it kind of warms up outside of here in Chicago. I try to go ride my bike um, around the city. Um, sometimes I go and run on the treadmill, but I really hate doing that. Like, Me I too. Feel like, I'm, like, you know, like I got to see scenery, something. What teammate has been the person that's rallying you guys to keep you motivated, to keep you on track, to keep you focused, but also giving permission to let loose during this time? Probably Daddy is young. Dad is like a big brother to all of us, in a way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's able to relate to everyone on the team. He's able to communicate with everybody. So, you know, everybody looks to him for, for a lot of advice. Not necessarily on the court, but off the court too. Like he's, he, he knows exactly what's going on, how to, you know, what decisions he made, what decisions uh, that we shouldn't make. You know, he just kind of looks out for us. You know, the NBA is, is evaluating all of these different possibilities in order to get the season started at some point there still isn't a date for that right now but for you if the season were to end today what is the moment you look back on this year that you were most proud of probably the last game before mm -hmm. this whole quarantine thing came up i mean this whole shutting down the league came about because so, it was just like i was just getting back into my groove you know just coming off the injury i was just you know get my legs back underneath me, and I was really feeling good about myself going into the Orlando game. But what is your level of optimism that the season is going to be resumed at some point? You know, I've been seeing a lot of things on social media, so it's just it's made me wonder, like, what they changed the format of the league, um, mm. you know, all that kind of stuff. But then another part of me is like, I feel like they don't want to change certain things because it's been that way for so many years. So, right. you know, just because of, not saying this is a small problem because it's not at all, but right. just because it really just changed the whole format of the league, I don't know. You know, I was kind of going yeah. back and forth on it, but, you know, it's definitely a possibility and I wouldn't be mad if they did it. You do go back to play. I want to know what your experience has been. You know, there's been a lot of 
different views of what it is like to actually be on the Chicago Bulls right now. What is your experience of being coached by Jim Boyle? Very, very passionate, very, very mm. hardworking, uh, very caring. Uh, a lot of people, you know, looking from the outside in, aren't, aren't able to take in the moments that, you know, are not in front of a in front of a camera. So, um, right. You know, we we you know these my, my two years here, we haven't been to, haven't been winning enough games, haven't been you know in playoff races or anything. But um, you know, Jim is definitely a coach that's like. You know, he cares about us. He cares about each and every one of us. Uh, win, lose, or draw is not going to change his perspective on us as a team. So There's a lot of uncertainty right now surrounding players' paychecks and, you know, at what point that will continue or stop and what is required to be paid out. You have some of the best resources when it comes to financial advisors. I'm curious what the best financial advice you've gotten has been during all of this. Save your, save your money. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, it's pretty uh pretty simple statement, but like it speaks volumes, especially times like this. Mm -hmm. Like man, you never know, like everything can stop for you at one second, but you gotta still be able to provide for yourself, provide for your family and stuff. With the players only tournament, uh mm -hmm. two K tournament going down mm -hmm. on ESPN, I really think it's important as an avid gamer who has admitted to me maybe sometimes play six, seven, eight hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> I need a ranking. So we're the top five best 2K gamers in the NBA. It'd probably be PJ Washington. Mm -hmm. um, no order. Gary Trent. <laughs> uh, myself. Okay. I've seen um, Donovan Mitchell play. He's pretty good. Okay. I'm the, I haven't really seen anybody else play. You were went to one of the best college basketball programs in the country. I'm wondering if you can reflect back on what it would have been like, what these students are going through now to have gone through your high school basketball experience without an NCAA March Madness setting off. I definitely hate that, you know, the timing is kind of messed up their situation. Mm -hmm. you know, just looking back from my situation and you know, us going to the tournament, you know, that that helped us yeah. as individually in terms of, you know, getting to the next level. You know, just um, playing in front of a lot of people, playing against some of the best talent. Since then, you were yeah. you know, drafted by the Chicago Bulls. Now, The Last Dance is coming out on ESPN imminently. Yeah. Dave was moved up. What are you most excited for in in that docu-series? I'm excited to see not necessarily the on-court things, but kind of just the off-the-court, the dialogue, you know, the kind of things like that. You know, see the raw footage of, you know, what was really going down. So that's what I'm looking most forward to. What is yeah. your favorite story you've heard about the 90s Bulls teams now that you're a part of the organization? Uh, Michael Jordan used to used to play golf a lot, and that they would bet a lot of money, you know, just playing, playing golf. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of money. Have you watched any old basketball games during this hiatus? Watching any film, and if so, what? Yeah, I've, I've watched a lot of film myself lately. Um, mm. You know, watching games all the way through, not necessarily my highlights, just watching games all the way through. I know that when you say binge watch, you're not talking about binge watching basketball games, especially. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is your number one binge watch? Recommendation right now, and if it's not Tiger King, you're wrong. Like if it's not Tiger King, you're wrong. You said you saying you think Tiger King is good? Absolutely. Have you seen it? I have. After all <laughs> that, when you need to decompress, number one binge watch recommendation. I'm gonna probably go with Ozark. I've heard that's good. I haven't watched it yet. Really, really good. good. Yeah, really good. Since 2018. You have published 17 Instagram posts with the hashtag ABC. What does ABC stand for? So ABC stands for Accept, Believe, Confess. Accept, Believe, Confess. I was like, is it already been chewed? Because, <laughs> well, that's 21. And I promised you that was gonna that was gonna be 21 questions. So I so appreciate your time. Stay well, stay safe. And hopefully we'll get to see you back on the basketball court soon.
appreciate you. Enjoy my time. Thanks, Wendell. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.